homelessness, the, the condition of our public schools, the high cost of simply living in this state right now where people are struggling every month just to get by on their budget. And of course, uh, we have a, a serious homelessness crisis that we see now, not only in, in Portland, but all across the state. And let me be clear, let me be very clear. I am pro-choice, no matter what the Brown campaign says in their divisive attack ads. I've not wavered from this position before I started running for political office. When I ran for my first office in 2014 for the state legislature, again in 2016, and then interestingly, I even ran as a pro-choice Republican in a Republican gubernatorial primary just a few months ago. I think that clearly shows my pro-choice background and longtime support. And, and it goes along with being a physician, because as a physician, I feel very strongly that those kinds of medical decisions are best between a woman and her physician without any influence of politicians or government. I felt that way for a very long time, not only on women reproductive health care rights, but also with regards to that very crucial relationship between a physician and their patient. Now, I backed up my statement over the years with two very important, in two very important ways. My public statements, things I've written about. In fact, I, I would uh, reference everyone to an opinion piece that was in the Oregonian just about a year ago, clearly out, outlining my pro-choice views for everyone to see right when we start off this election campaign. And if that's not enough, then look at my, my voting record. It's a long voting record. I actually wrote and passed a landmark bill in Oregon for women's uh, uh, health care. Oregon now was the first state in the nation to have essentially over-the-counter birth control access. Market improvement in, in women's health and decrease the number of un unintended pregnancies already. And being copied by states all across the country. Something to, that we all should be proud of. No matter if we're pro-choice or, or pro-life. We all should share that goal to make abortion as rare as possible. I also have voted on multiple occasions uh, for state funding of abortion services. When we vote on the Oregon Health Authority budget, now some of my Republican colleagues vote routinely no on that budget because it, it pays for uh, state-sponsored state funding of, of abortions. Because I feel strongly that low-income women, like all women in Oregon, should have access to these important reproductive health services. And clearly, I have opposed uh, some national Republican health plan proposals that would have jeopardized health care for thousands of, of Oregonians, just, just not women. Now, I pledge to you, I pledge to the women in this room, I pledge to the women all across the state that as governor, regardless of what happens to federal law, I'll ensure that Oregon remains a pro-choice state. And importantly, I'll continue to work on our landmark legislation that expands access to contraception, that allows women the ease and the freedom of getting birth control without a doctor's prescription. And actually, I've made it a big, important goal for the next five years to decrease the number of unintended pregnancies in Oregon by 25%, to carry on the good work and the progress we've already showed, where we've decreased uh, uh, unintended pregnancies almost 18% over the last few years. So with that, uh, let me pass the the mic over to Danielle and uh, have her share her perspective.